A man, this is the headline from MSN.com, and it has to do with some coffee. A man who probably drinks too much coffee sues Folgers for not giving him enough coffee. That's the headline. So, Logan, you, you got that confused look. I'd, I'd love to see if you think you know what this article is about before we dig into this. So he drinks too much, and he's suing them for not giving him enough? That's what the headline says. So what is he, what does he want? He wants a handout because he thinks he's a great ambassador for Folgers or something? Honestly, it sounds like he's a whack job. And, yeah, uh, I don't, and I think Brandon's done this. So obviously, um, this is what MSN said. It says, you know, us as a society, we'd love to keep tabs on those who stick it to the man by suing major corporations for minor inconveniences. So apparently there was a class action lawsuit against Kellogg's claiming that there wasn't enough strawberry in a strawberry pop there, which I missed. You that know? One. Yeah. So I remember that one. Uh, the guy suing him said there's more, and this is accurate, there's more pears and apples in the strawberry Pop Tarts than there are actual strawberries in, in the filling that okay. they make, which okay. is interesting. If you if you actually look at the ingredients, it shows it on the side. It's you know they don't try to lie to you, but when they call themselves strawberry Pop Tarts, it's not really accurate. But who the fuck should care? Well, apparently somebody. So then last week, a man threatened to sue KFC when his sandwich didn't look like the picture on the menu. It goes back to that conversation we had last week about frivolous lawsuits. And yes, yes. it, it seems when we read these, it seems like, oh, this is stupid. Why should you? Be I think this is the the downfall of having those. But I don't think this should be the reason to get rid of them, because I think you as an individual, I don't know where you were listening from, should be able to sue a big corporation and be on equal setting in a court of law. And that's what these guys are doing. Now, some of them are done, and they can certainly be thrown out. And if and judges will throw them out if there's nothing to be held on. But, you know, so, we talked about the woman spilling the coffee on her lap and going up against McDonald's, who weren't going to help her at all. Yeah, so that's the last hurt. part of it is, uh, and let us not forget the $5 million lawsuit against McDonald's for changing the same uh, amount for, or for charging the same amount for a quarter pounder with cheese without the cheese. So Go real ahead, quick, Mo Molly just did a, the wifey just did a thing for school where she's teaching her class how to like um, take pictures, photo pictures for like food, you know, mm -hmm. like all those commercials and everything. So she did some research and, you know, not like, you know, it's stuff that could be common knowledge, but it's not like maple syrup. When they pour that all over those pancakes at Denny's and, and everything, it's motor oil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like, which makes sense. Uh, whipped cream is shaving cream because the consistency, it doesn't melt. So if that guy really wants his food to look like the commercial, you know what? They should be like, here you go, bub. Give yeah, us here. And make well, I'm going to sue those. for $10 million because they gave it to me for looking like it. I don't right. know why that voice came out, but that's what I feel like. That was a, guy a nice voice. To McDonald's. This, this article you brought up, Matt, is very yeah. interesting because this guy, I, mean, I don't mean to, to hijack what you were going to read into, but this guy sues them because he says on the side of the can, it says there's supposed to be something like 60 cups in a big Folgers can. Yep. Well, that's expecting, you know, with the expectation of there being like a tablespoon per cup or half a cup per pot. Yes. But let me tell you, are you a coffee drinker? I'll, I'll drink it, but not on the regular. Coffee math is confusing. I don't know what it is, but like if you start to dig in this and I've been trying to tell, I've, I've told one of my favorite coffees in the entire planet is Java John's coffee. I love the coffee. He's a good dude. He's a guy that quit his job to pursue his passion in, in coffee. You know, dinner was roasting right at the house. Great coffee. It's it's truly one of my go-tos every single morning. And I said, dude, you need a coffee math app because I'm telling you, it's confusing. And Logan, you might not know, but it's like the, the water ratio to the scoops, to, to the cups, to the ounces. And it's just, I don't know why. And, and people out there might just be like, oh, it's super easy. But it's not that easy. It makes and it makes sense. You're mixing, and if you like stuff extra, extra thick or like you know dark or not as in coffee, I don't drink it. But like, what are you drinking? A couple, a small mug, no. or are you bringing one of those bad boys to work? Like that. Makes I, I, I used sense. to work with a guy who this math thing really kind of ties in because he says, you know, the 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 consensus says the more coffee you grounds you put in your coffee pot the more bitter it's going to be well he says no that's not the way it is and and i'm not a coffee guy i'm not a connoisseur i'm not coffee fanatics to be sure but 
he says the less coffee grounds you use, the more bitter it's going to taste. But the more coffee, generally speaking, put two scoops in, he said, you know, it'll be less bitter and more flavorful. I'm not yeah, much yeah. of a coffee drinker, but that's kind of how I am. I, I, I usually do the two scoops. Uh, to about 16 ounces of water is what I found is my ratio. So again, I'm curious if anybody out there has an easier equation, let us know in the comments, but yeah, let's, let's segue, I guess, back to the article that Brandon was talking about. He said that it should be 60 cups of coffee. So the man who filed the lawsuit rustled up his own equation, which I'm super curious about it and deducted that he was only getting about 68% of the amount. So he was only getting 36 cups of coffee. What the lawsuit didn't mention is that what is happening to this man's insides from consistently nearly doubling the suggested amount of grounds in his morning cup of coffee. Yeah, Again, this was from Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So, but apparently, Mr. Guts is what they're calling him. Mr. Guts of Steel isn't alone because Folgers has been swatting away class action lawsuits for similar claims like flies on poop over the past few years. I put in the poop part. They put in Liquid the flies. Poop, yeah. So, um, so that's why they've uh, been leaning on their words up to on their canisters, imply or canisters implying that what they suggest is the max amount of coffee, depending on your preference in fortitude. So none of the class action uh, lawsuits have actually stuck. But if anybody can bring down Folgers, it's probably the guy from Kansas who's chock full of caffeine and still hungry for more. You know, I sent you, I, I think it's an interesting article and obviously a great debate in the private chat. Uh, not the same thing, but kind of a side note. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about bitterness. I thought it was interesting finding out that if you add salt, just a pinch of salt to your coffee grounds, it helps take away some of the bitterness of the coffee. If you add too much, you'll start tasting the saltiness of the salt. But but just a pinch of salt to those coffee grounds, it, and they're science minded, apparently. Wow. If science is behind it, you know it's it's right. So, so Jake made a cool comment real quick. Is uh, Love the hat. This is a hat by an amazing group, Beard Mob. We had, uh, we had Monty... Yeah, uh, that was on <clears throat> the show a little while back on this episode. We did a little segment with him, him, Jake, and Beard Mob. They have a cool little thing going with the big shave. They raise a crazy amount of money. I want to say it's like twenty or twenty five thousand dollars. Jake, correct me if I'm wrong. They're going to shave their mustaches off, but they're they're doing a big thing for you matter for you know like mental health and a whole bunch of things. They have some cool <sighs> merchandise. I saw this hat and I said I need it. So Sweet they got a cool, yeah, they, it, it's awesome. Not only that, but the, the dudes behind the, uh, the, the cause and, and the cause itself is, it's just an amazing thing. So Jake, I appreciate you. Yeah. 25,000. See, I was right. <coughs> so just a couple of great, great guys And Jake, if, if you know the update on what the total roughly is, let us know. But if you guys want to, you guys can just Google on, on Facebook. You guys can check out You Matter. Use the hashtag if you want. Or just, you know, if you're on the social medias, click hashtag You Matter. Just, just an amazing, amazing thing. So Grim makes a good point on coffee. If you add whiskey to coffee, it helps remove your job. 